Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week's Checking In is really as a result of the um, school board work session last night and then a couple of observations I wanted to make about the, the budget process in general. You know, I'm still learning that even, um, you know, after months of, um, of hearings and meetings and information about budget, uh, there's still some misunderstanding about the process itself and, you know, for example, there are folks out there who are, are still under the impression that either, either me or the school board or both, that we have the authority to make decisions about you know, how much revenue the schools are going to receive and how much additional compensation people are going to receive. And that's not how it works at all. We propose, we began our budgeting process in October, gathering data, establishing goals, uh, meeting with supervisors, principals, et cetera, school board input. And that swing, the process, process swings into high gear in December when the governor proposes his budget. And then these hearings, meetings come, they continue, continue, continue. And um, that's, that's the, the, the culmination of that, of course, is the approval of the budget, which was happened last night. But our role is to propose a budget and share our needs with the Board of Supervisors. And then they determine how much funding we will receive. And typically, of course, it's less than what we request. So that comes back to us. And then the board is, you know, having to make decisions with input from staff about how to prioritize things based on the, the what they what the revenues are that they will actually receive and not not the proposed revenues, right? So it's it's a it's an ongoing process. It's very complicated, but uh, and I and I understand completely, like so many other school divisions, we need to do something significant with our teacher pay scale to make it more equitable you know ideally in a perfect world your teacher pay scale should look like this right with years of service and pay it, it should be you know a, a straight line well, ours doesn't look like that ours has a dip in it okay and the dip occurs for the folks in the middle of the scale uh, especially because of, of the years during the recession where we stopped doing step increases and we stopped doing, um, you know, a, a sort of a guaranteed yearly increase. And when that happens, those folks, especially in the middle, started getting compressed. And we've got to do something about that. And and I'll just look. I'm, I don't claim to be the budget guru expert. Um, I, I still I, I rely on my staff, and I need to rely on you. I need to hear from you. So I don't know if that's going to be through VEA or ACES, but I. I uh, Truly and profoundly, I'm sincere when I say I want to hear from teachers and work with teachers to come up with a strategy. For example, next year, what I've requested from the board, from our board, is all right. We've done this market adjustment going into next school year for classifieds and for some administrators. The following year, if there are additional revenues available, and we anticipate that there will be some, um, after we pay for you know utilities increases and and the buses we have to buy and that stuff. There, if there are additional revenues available, we want to use those revenues uh, to address the teacher scale issues, the dip in the scale, if that makes sense. And we got a long way to go to come up with a strategy that you know everyone's going to be happy with, and we want to work with you to determine what that will look like. So that's that's coming. That will be in a sort of a conversation that will be will be continuing because it will take some time. Uh, because you know, in, in an ideal world, you have a, a yearly COLA or a yearly step increase and then uh, you know sort of a raise that you can count on year to year and that keeps things equitable and we've just gone through a, a, a series of years like a lot of other folks where uh, that, that kind of got messed up um, and you know making a promise about compensation and ongoing compensation increases in a strategy is really tough when you know we don't we don't have a revenue sharing agreement with the locality so year to year we're not certain what we're going to be receiving and I don't want to be a hypocrite and say yeah we're gonna we're gonna generate this plan we're gonna stick to it year to year to year when we are year to year we're not even sure what we're gonna be receiving in terms of revenues and it's it would be very easy under those conditions for someone to say hey wait a minute Jack you said you were gonna do this and this and that well if I can't do it I can't do it and um, it's just like any other year. We asked for six million, and you know we we settle at around 5.2 from the locality. We got to make decisions about what we're going to cut out of that other request in the, in the 
in the tune at the tune of about nine hundred thousand dollars. So that is what it is. But we are going to be having conversations with staff, and I want to hear from teachers, especially about the strategy moving forward. Now, having said that, let me quickly tell you what happened last night. There was a three percent across the board increase uh, for all staff including, uh, not for every single person, folks at zero to one received a 2.5% increase. And that is that was a way of, of kind of, again, addressing that dip in the scale and kind of pulling it tout so it's a little, a little flatter. Um, and then there was the money for the market adjustment and there will be no increase for uh, medical benefits. The school board picked up that increase, so you will see no increase there. Um, VRS is again covered by the school board and um, we were able to add several positions that we desperately needed, so we're really happy about that. We added more money for CMP, which is maintenance, and some other things. We really were able to meet the majority of our goals. Um, so I, I feel good about that piece, and I feel good. I'm, I'm particularly grateful for the school board for going and approving this budget without getting those state numbers, because I know folks are antsy about contracts and whatnot, so we wanted to get that out as soon as, as, soon as we possibly could. And um, what else? I'm looking at my notes here, and I can't really think of anything else. But, you know, I'm glad the budget process is, is almost over. And um, it's been, a, you know, another difficult budget year. But um, I feel good about the progress we made. And I, look, I feel good about the progress that we can potentially make moving forward. I thank you for your commitment to Spocky County Public Schools. I thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we have a really good story to tell here, and that's because of you. And um, I'm really appreciative for that. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thank you.